Hi all, Carrie D here, host of Coffee with Carrie Homeschool Podcast and the author of Just Breathe and Take a Sip of Coffee. And you can't see my face today because I'm doing a series of some of my favorite math games that you can play with either a simple deck of cards or a pair of dice, or in this case, a bunch of dice. All right, so this game will help students learn their place value. So before you uh, play this game, the first thing you need to do is set up the game board. All right, so um, this will be me. So we're gonna play a game where we're trying to build the largest possible number we can up to the thousands, all right? So this is gonna be my game board. Notice I have thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones, and a reject column. And then this is gonna be you or your son or daughter, and they also have uh, thousands, hundreds, tens, hundreds, and a reject, okay? Now, usually um, I play this game and we just uh, write in the numbers as we roll them, but I thought, um, one, because it's hard for me to write upside down, and two, it's also a lot more fun uh, for you guys to look at things visually with different colored dice. I'm gonna roll the dice and use the dice instead of write today, okay? All right, so you take turns with um, you and your son or daughter. So I'm gonna roll my first dice. I rolled a two, okay? Now remember, I'm trying to build the largest possible number I can. I don't really wanna put a two in the thousands place because that's not a very big number, okay? Um, but I don't really wanna reject it just yet because I don't really have good luck with rolling dice. So I think I'm gonna put my two in the ones column, all right? Because ones, not so much, right? Okay, so then my son goes and he rolls his purple dice. Ooh, and he rolled a five. Five's pretty big. So he might wanna put it in the thousands place, or since it's his first roll and he might wanna try and get a six, he might put it in, let's just say the hundreds place, okay? So it's my turn to roll. I roll another green dice. Look at that, see, told you. I rolled a two, and so um, huh, still very small. But I think I'm gonna put it in my tens place just in case, okay? Then my son, he rolls his dice. See, there it is, he rolled a six. So it's the largest number he can possibly roll with these dice. And so he puts it in his thousand column, okay? My turn to roll, I roll a four. That is pretty good, but if I put it in the hundreds and then I roll a six, my son is still gonna beat me because he's got five hundreds, I only have four hundreds. And I can't put it here because I'm definitely gonna lose. So it looks like I'm gonna have to reject my four, okay? All right, so then my son rolls, oops, sorry, he rolls a four. Course, that's a nice number so he puts it in his tens column I roll my dice and I rolled a five okay so obviously I can't put it in my thousands I lose but I can put it in the hundreds column and I might have a chance no I'm not gonna be able to win but let's just go ahead and play all right so my son rolls a dice he rolls a two let's just say he rejects it all right I roll my last dice oh my goodness I have to use my two because that's the only space that's left over for the thousands. And you can't switch dice around or numbers around. Once you put them in place, they have to stay there. So my son's just gonna roll for fun. He rolls a two. And then we can see that 2,522 is less than 6,543, all right? Super fun game to have your kids practice place value. So you can either, like I said, write the numbers out as you roll them or just put the, the dice there to help your kids keep track of how many times they rolled. And you can keep playing this. You can designate you're going to play five rounds of this and see who wins the most rounds. Or you can play five rounds of this and then add up all of the numbers you made in the five rounds. And whoever has the greatest sum at the end of five rounds wins the game. There's so many different ways that you can play this game practice your place value, and practice adding. Have fun.